it's an enormous weight, and I think that I'm up for the task. We're here to, to make a ruckus because being a young person and seeing the climate crisis, you, you got to make a ruckus. Being a part of that council is just like an enormous weight and enormous opportunity as well, because being the only young person, you're able to, to highlight how the perspective is totally different. Like being a young person and seeing the climate crisis looming over your future, that's a direct anxiety point for an, our entire like Gen Z, like that's an entire cultural point that we live with. If we think of the scale of the youth climate movement, over the past two years, we've seen on every single continent over tens of millions of young people rise up in solidarity. We've now seen one in four young people be aware or either taking 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 part in a climate strike, and that's really the scale of our movement. Like it's been two years, and like an entire generation has united to raise their voices. I think that's really what what changed about the youth climate movement and the youth movement in general. It's, it's a generation rising to power and elected officials are now finally seeing that. They can't ignore us anymore. We, we hit it where it hurt. We hit it exactly where the power lies. Hope comes from action, kind of. It's it's like that that energy that, that comes from like, we, we passed this new bill. We've seen the Green New Deal. We've seen these big pieces of legislation now be put into place. And like, that's where the hope is coming from. And I think like the second part is maybe just like my generation, like the hope that comes from from nowadays is just like seeing my peers and being in these spaces where we're able to make changes because we were born in this crisis. Like a lot of our generation, like the hope was like, eventually we'll be able to actually like make these changes and we don't have to continue to skip school to yell at someone to 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 talk about this crisis. This is a crisis of people around the world that are suffering at the hands of us not being willing to compromise on a basic and fundamental level. When you strip in a, a billion people's main food source and you allow people to die from, from air pollution and plastic pollution and be exposed to toxic diseases because we aren't willing to recycle, that's a moral issue. I think that, that goes far beyond whether you see it in your own life. That's thinking about, what about my global community? What about the, the fellow humans that are, are suffering right now? 